Hello and welcome to section 8, called High Charts on Mobile Platforms. The previous section helped us on how we can export, distribute charts through email, and how to prepare charts for printing. In this section, we will learn how we can set up mobile friendly web pages with jQuery Mobile and integrate High Charts with it. This section starts with a brief introduction to the jQuery Mobile framework. This is followed by a video where we learn about jQuery Mobile's basic page structure and how they are linking to each other. Later, we integrate high charts with jQuery Mobile in our example. Finally, we look at how drilling down, point and click, and pinch features work in our jQuery Mobile web app. Now, let's start learning a little about jQuery Mobile. So far, we used High Charts in desktop browsers. Although High Charts integrates very well with all platforms and browsers supporting HTML and JavaScript, such devices are Android, iPhone, or Windows Phone. We haven't really designed a mobile focused page. In this video, we will look at why jQuery Mobile is a good framework to choose for a mobile web project. We'll use jQuery Mobile because it provides an interface and theming that most developers can understand and can use. It's fast, and it will work on most mobile devices. Or if not, it's not broken, but less features or animations are shown. Now, let's look at the key features of the framework. First, it's built on jQuery Core, which means if you're familiar with jQuery, you'll get along a lot easier. The next feature is what all developers love. It's compatible with all major mobile, tablet, e-reader, and desktop platforms. Its feature is that it's lightweight and fast. It's HTML5 markup driven, which means faster development and less scripting. It supports responsive design, allowing our pages to automatically scale to the screen size. Another important feature is its Ajax-powered navigation system, which enables page transitions and such features that make our web app feel like a native mobile app. The touch and mouse event support handles the user input with a simple API. Unified UI widgets are used for common touch-based themable control interfaces. And finally, its theming framework and theme roller application allows developers to build highly branded experiences with ease. Now, let's see how a jQuery Mobile's page HTML structure looks like. Let's open the jQuery Mobile sample.html file in our favorite code editor. In the head, a meta viewport tag sets the screen width to the pixel width of the device and references to jQuery jQuery Mobile and the style sheet from the CDN adds all the styles and scripts. In the body, this div with a data role of page is the wrapper used to specify a page. And the header bar and content region are added inside to create a basic page in our example. These data attributes are HTML5 attributes used throughout jQuery Mobile to transform basic markup into an enhanced and styled widget. Inside your content container, you can add any standard HTML elements like headings, lists, paragraphs, etc. This is how a very basic page looks like with jQuery Mobile. In this video, we got to know the basic concepts of jQuery Mobile and had a look at a basic HTML structure of it. In the next video, we will dive into the details of the page structure and see how pages are linked together. See you there.